Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we are going to see another method for solving linear programming problem. So far we have dealt with two methods. The first one was graphical method and the second one was simplex method. So graphical method for variables not more than two and when the variable exceeds two then we are with the simplex method. And in the simplex method, the constraints and the study were of, of this type, less than or equal to. And after adding slack variable in order to add in the standard form, we have to add the slack variable and there may be x plus y less than 2. So x plus y plus s, that is a slack, is equal to 2. And after adding slack, we are ready to go with the simplex method. But if we have the constraints of the type greater than or equal to or equality so there are three possibilities of the sign of the constraint the first one of this less than or equal to that we have done in the simplex method the second one was greater than or equal to and the third one was of the equality this was was discussed by using the, the slack variable here adding slack variable but what if we have the constraint having this sign here we just not have to subtract the surplus variable but we have to do another thing because simplex is not our choice and additionally the addition of the surplus is also not the only way or subtract the subtract the surplus variable is not the only choice that we have the thing that we are going to add is the artificial variable now the question is why we need to add artificial variable and whether we're talking about this constraint or this constraint the reason the reason is a little bit vague but similarly with our intentions that if we take if we're talking about the standard form or, or thinking about x or y intercepts in which we are assuming x zero then for the next y is equal to zero to get the desirable intercepts then uh, let's write write down the constraint so here we are with the constant x plus y is greater than or equal to 2. So now if I'm going to write in the standard form, then because of this constant, I have to subtract the surplus variable here in order to make in the equality form. Now, we're talking about the intercepts, let's say x is equal to 0 is equal to y, then the only thing that I'm left out with minus s is equal to 2 or s is equal to minus 2 this implies that the surplus variable that we are dealing with should should be negative but that contradicts the assumption the definition of of taking the surplus or slack variable because we have to take the positive surplus or slack variable this was assumption that we discussed in the previous video in one of the previous videos when talking about how to add surplus and how to subtract surplus in any of the constraint depending upon which type of sign was there so this contradicts the behavior of the surplus variable and there is a need to add anything here to make this stable then we are going with the artificial variable and we have to add plus a that is equal to 2 so that making it stable and then this definition will remain true and we have the different constraint dealing with the equality sign there is a question in mind that why we need to add the artificial variable because there is not any any inequality in this in this constraint so for this same reason, if we're going to f figure out the intercepts, then 0 plus 0 is equal to 2. That 0 is equal to 2. That contradicts the behavior of 0 and 2. So that is why there is also a need to add something that is going to stable this relation. So again, we have to enter the artificial variable here so as to make it stable. So as to make it stable. 
not in this form because this is also stable by just adding the slack variable in the surplus form but in this form uh, we have to subtract the surplus variable additionally we have to add the artificial variable and in this constraint as well so this is the reason by using the intercept form by using the definition of these variables we are able to show how and when we are going to add artificial variable in any of the constraints so a is used to use for artificial variable in the next uh, videos or in the next uh, question solving procedure so you have to consider a is only for the artificial variables now there are two methods that the first one that we are going to discuss is this big m technique that uses this artificial variable with the same algorithm just as the simplex method so let's take an example to see how we can write the standard form uh, of the of using big m, te big m technique by the same algorithm by following the same algorithm of the simplex So the problem we have is that we have to maximize z. The objective function is 5x plus 7y. Subject to, we have three constraints. The very first is x plus, no, only x. x is less than or equal to 10. The second one is x plus y is equal to 12. And the third one is x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 0. For all x and y greater than or equal to 0. So the three type of constraints are there, less than or equal to equal and greater than or equal to so now we have to write the standard form of this maximization problem by using the big m technique so here for the first constraint x is less than or equal to 2 it is clear that we only have to add the slack variable you know to make it in this form you know to make it stable and then in the second constraint x plus y is equal to 12 so i have to add an artificial variable so this is a 1 is equal to 12 and then in the third constraint that have greater than or equal to sign i have to subtract a surplus variable from here so minus s2 because using s1 here making it a difference from s1 and s2 you can use any s dash s prime s double prime any other and then plus the artificial variable I have used a1 here so a2 is equal to 3 for all x y s i's are greater than or equal to 0 now moving toward the objective function here we have to write 0 s1 plus here a1 so for the maximization type we have to subtract m a1 then for s2 we have 0 s2 and then for a2 negative m a2 so this is very important minus m a1 the coefficient of the artificial variable in the objective function is minus m minus m the objective uh, function having the coefficient of the surplus and struct variable is 0 only so this is why the technique is big M technique because this M representing the very, very big value of, of M and why there is a negative sign because we are dealing with the maximization problem and this negative sign is only to make, to earn the maximum profit without any additional effect of other variables that was included in this. So eventually we will get the maximum profit in the maximization type by using the negative sign if we are dealing with the problem that is of minimization type then we will use plus m plus m in order to reduce uh, the loss that we can suffer so also there is uh, there is an interchange between if we have a ma maximization type problem you can change it to a minimization type problem depending upon your choice if you have minimization type question then you can change it to the maximization type question by uh, multiplying it with the negative sign so it just upon uh, your choice of doing it how you can handle by by figuring out the maximum possible profit or um, to minimize my minimization of the of the loss so 
this is the standard form of the problem that have all of the three type of constraints using the artificial variables with the big M technique same as for the simplex algorithm and in the next video we will hopefully solve this problem in order to make a comparison with the simplex algorithm because we're using the simplex algorithm in order to make a proper connection with how this technique is slightly different from the technique that we use in the simplex problem. So this is for now. If you come for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel and watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.